right, since you guys liked my last video on beliefs, I thought I'd go a little bit further into that and cover some other subjects. Um, as you guys know, for many years I was really depressed, um, mostly because I was working towards just one goal, and I wasn't, I was giving it my all, but it wasn't my only goal, and deep down I knew that, uh, but I ignored all my other goals. And so, they all fell to the side, and that depressed me. Um, now, I'm going to tell you guys why I think a large majority of men who are depressed are depressed. It's a pretty simple concept, and you'll probably agree if you're depressed and you hear this. You are depressed because you are not working towards what you really want. You are depressed because you don't know what you really want, and therefore the things that you are working towards aren't necessarily even going to make you happy. A lot of people decide things like, whenever I get down to a certain body fat percent and look a certain way, I'm going to be happy. No, that, that has nothing to do with it. Why would that make you happy? That's not what's going to make you happy. What's going to make you happy is, is the confidence in the way people treat you and the way you view yourself. That is your goal, is to change what you think of yourself and what other people think of you. It's not so much to change how your body looks. See, you're, you're focusing on one thing instead of a bigger picture of what you really want. Because what we should really be focusing on is generally what overall we want in life. Um, obviously, there are many small things that we have to work towards. But it shouldn't just be one thing that we're working towards. We should be working towards a bigger picture, something we visualize in our head of what, he, what we want our life to be. And how it will be and what it will be. You know, just everything about it. Just picture everything in your mind, visualize it, and work out all the little details about how you're going to do it, about what it's going to be like, about what you truly want. What it comes down to is, is what makes men happy. I don't know about women, <laughs> but what makes men happy is working towards worthwhile goals. And that takes a little effort because, not, not just to work towards the goal, but to figure out what your worthwhile goals are. Because if you don't know what you're trying to accomplish, if you don't know what you really want, you're not going to do it. Our brains are kind of funny that way. If we don't think we can do things, if we don't put in a lot of effort, we won't even know what we're trying to do. We're no better than girls that way. We don't even know what we want. We have a general idea, but like it doesn't manifest itself until you really search. Um, for example, if you're someone, say the typical person. Typical person wants to look good. They want to feel good. They want to be admired. We're talking about men here. They want to get girls, or they want to have a better relationship with their wife, or they want to be appreciated. They want to have money. They want to have status. They want to have friends. They want to have comfort. They want to have love. They want to have many, many things. But when you see what they work towards truly passionately in their daily life, it's probably just one thing. It might be their job. It might be their family. It might be golf. It might be working out. And so they let everything else kind of fall to the wayside when what they could have been doing was focusing a little bit harder on every one thing. Now, a lot of people are going to look at me and they're going to go, well, I do, I do try really hard at, at everything and I work towards all my goals. If you sat down and thought of what you really wanted, you would come up with new goals immediately. You probably don't even really know what you want. You probably never sat down to think it through enough because you're already struggling with the things you're doing. And they might not even be making you happy as it is, so why take on other, other projects? Why take on other ideas, other things to work towards? So I, my challenge to you guys is to sit down and think of what you truly want in life. I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I feel like being a billionaire and having a mansion and stuff. Although, if you can do that, there are some people who become billionaires and have all that shit. So at some point, they had to, to want that and decide they wanted that and work towards that. So far be it from me to tell you that you shouldn't do that or can't do that. But for you typical people who I'm speaking to, sit down and think what you really want. Think what kind of car you want if that matters to you. Think what kind of girl you want if that matters to you. What kind of relationship you want, what kind of friends you want, the money you want to make, the job you want to do. Everything you can kind of put together in your mind and visualize that and ask yourself how you would get to that point because it's certainly possible. If other people are doing it, why wouldn't you be able to do it? 
Now, once you have those goals and you know generally how to work towards them, set that plan into motion. And I think what you'll find is, is that working towards those ideal goals of yours, worth, working towards those worthwhile goals of yours, whatever they might be, will make you happy. They will make you happy. And, and when you get them, it will make you that much happier. Not all of them, but as you slowly acquire those things, as you slowly see your hard work paying off, as you slowly look better, as you get a better girlfriend, as you get a better relationship with your wife, as you make more money, as you get a nicer car, whatever it is, as you slowly acquire those things on your way to your ideal life, it will make you happy. Mankind in general, men, are creatures of needing to move. They need to move, they need to get better, they need to acquire, they need to grow, they need to build, they need to create. We need to keep changing. And if you ever find yourself standing still, if you ever find yourself going backwards, you would realize just how depressing that might be to you, unless you're already where you want to be. And even then, I mean, how many, how many famous people are extremely depressed? How many movie stars turn to drugs and kill themselves? How many singers? And, you know, it's, it's about becoming better. It's about working towards worthwhile goals. It's about having a passion for something in life and moving towards it is what it's is what life is really about for men it's if you look at people who don't do that they do not live the life you want to live most likely um, they are not necessarily very happy I know I wouldn't be I know most of you wouldn't be happy just standing still in life and never progressing and just kinda of getting by you don't want to get by you want your life to be something special you want to be proud of what you did with your life you want to look forward to the future, you want to look forward to hard work, and it will make you happy to see what you can do with your own hands and what you can bring into reality from your mind. Um, so if you are depressed, have a look at your situation, ask yourself if you are moving forwards in the ways that make you really happy, and if you really are working towards your goals, if you really know what your goals and what makes you happy, what those things are. And if you don't have those things, think them through. And if you don't know how to do them, sit and think some more. But once it's all said and done and you know what you want, you have a path and you start working towards it and you start seeing the results from it, if you aren't happier, go ahead and shoot me a private message because I don't think that's going to be the case. I really don't think that's going to be the case. Um, I can speak from my own personal experience. Every time that I've ever stood still with my training, every time that I've ever stood still with anything that I cared about, extreme depression, just terrible depression, every time that I've done better, every time that I've succeeded in some way, Every time that I've improved myself, improved my life, become more successful in any regard whatsoever, it made me happy. I liked it. it. It was a good thing. And I think that's what men are. Look at what we've built over the last few thousand years. Look at what we've done, the things we've invented, the lands that have been conquered. That's what mankind is. If you look at our history, this is what we do. We acquire things and fuck things and build things and take just... We do shit. We move. We we become better, or we become better, or sooner or later we just fucking die out. And nothing happens, basically. Um, and the ones who did the best get remembered. So, uh, so that's my take on on why a lot of people are depressed. A lot of men are depressed. I'm not talking about women. Forget women. I have no fucking idea why they get depressed. I I guess people don't pay enough attention to them or some shit. Whatever. Um, but men, we get largely depressed because we're standing still, because we're not what we want to be, because we're not doing shit. So think it through, guys. Think this message through if you're depressed and you feel it might um, might benefit you to do what I'm saying. And let me know how it goes. Let me know in the comments if this helps you. Thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe to my videos.